What is going on guys, we're gonna come to videos. My name is indeed Kyle Gilbert, and today I'll be doing a quick video about Captain Marvel. That is right, the first official image of Captain Marvel has just been released, and my god, it looks really, really good. A couple months ago, there was an image released with uh, Brie Larson testing out the suit. It was ugly, it was turquoise and a green, it was, it was really bad, it was really baggy. But then I realized the movie was not filming for like another couple weeks. So I thought that was fishy on its own. So I thought maybe it's like a costume test because you gotta you, you gotta try these things out. And then the internet outcried. I mean, they were pissed. I mean, I was a little upset. I mean, I did state my thoughts saying like it looked bad, but I never really thought it was gonna be the official costume. I thought it was a little odd that they would pick that color choice and how baggy it was. But the internet still thought it was real. They they were pissing. They were moaning. It was this whole thing. But then the film started shooting, and now we got our first official image. It's it's more fit. The costume is more colorful. It's red, blue, and gold, the traditional colors. And we got uh, some set photos, which looks really, really good. I personally prefer these set photos, though, because it looks more real, whereas the Entertainment Weekly uh, front cover... Looks like they oversaturated the colors alone. Where, like, if you look at the actual image from the set photos, it's more, I won't say, like, low saturation. It just doesn't look like they had a computer and photoshopped it and then oversaturated the colors to make it look bright. Um, I know the power she's using uh, in the Entertainment Weekly photo is definitely, obviously, Photoshop because it's not real. But... It still looks, on that end, it looks really cool. So the images are looking really cool. And if you guys don't know, or you know Marvel's pattern, this means we are definitely going to get a trailer within the next week or two. I'm not saying it's going to be a, like a minimum week. I'm going to say at max a week or two. We, for all I know, the trailer could be coming out by the time I make this video and upload it. But the trailer is coming, and I'm really, really excited. And if you guys don't know who Captain Marvel is, uh, honestly, I'm going to be completely uh, honest with you guys. I don't think uh, they're going to be sticking to the actual origin of Captain Marvel. And I'll, let me explain why. Because there's this superhero called Marvel, and it was it's super like convoluted, especially because I I did some research be before this video, saying, thinking that like hey they're going to probably stick with the origin. No, because there's this guy Marvel. He's being trying to be killed by like. Thunderbolt Ross and all, like all these other these scroll people, and then he almost dies, and it's a thing. And then he takes over this guy's identity from a failed like pilot. He takes his identity, goes to NASA, meets Brie Larson's character. They fall in love because they she, he saved her life, and then he hugs her, protecting her from this blast. And some of that DNA went onto her. And then when that Marvel guy dies, and she becomes Captain Marvel. See, I don't think they're gonna go with that because that alone is a movie in itself. So they're obviously gonna cut some things out. Plus, Thunderbolt Ross, he's, he's already got his thing going on. He's busy trying to fuck up the Avengers. I don't think he's gonna have some time with Captain Marvel. Well, this is taking place in the 90s, so I mean, he could still be an extra douche with this. But I think the whole thing with Marvel is not gonna happen. I honestly believe that. But, uh, so I'm just letting you guys know that I don't think the origin is really going to be faithful for obvious reasons. But if you guys don't know her powers, uh, she's even more powerful than I originally anticipated. I know she's got insane durability, and durability is basically like you know how to take a punch. So you were like Thanos taking on all the Avengers, like not taking a scratch. and Like Iron Man literally went full balls on Thanos and then like literally gets one scratch. That's what durability is. She's got insane durability. Incredible strength, like, I think she's got pretty good reflexes and shit like that. She can fly, and she can shoot energy blasts out of her hands, which is fucking cool, because guess what? We've never really seen that in a movie before, in, a, like, a big-budget Hollywood movie. We've seen that in the cartoons all the fucking time with uh, Justice League Unlimited and all these other uh, little cartoons, but we've never seen that in a live-action, big-budget movie before. So I'm really excited to see how that looks, and we got the first look on that in the poster, and... Honestly, I'm really effing excited to see this trailer. I'm really effing excited to see this movie. I can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Make sure you share your thoughts, share this video, and hit that like button. I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gumps underscore videos. Go follow me later for the latest news and updates on my channel, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and other crap. Later in the day.